Hello, in this session we will talk about limitations of network file system. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. Before we start looking into the Hadoop file system, it's important to understand what kind of technology existed before and why there was a need to create a file system like Hadoop. Hadoop file system belongs to a category of file systems called distributed file systems. Distributed file systems were mainly created to serve two purposes, to hold large amount of data and to serve multiple clients over the network. Now let's look into one of the most commonly used distributed file system called network file system. It is one of the oldest and one of the commonly used is still. Let's try to answer the question why network file system was not sufficient to serve the needs and why there was a need to create Hadoop file system. Network file system provides remote access to a single volume stored on a single machine. And access is provided to the clients who can access the file system over the network. So how it works is the network file system makes a portion of the local file system visible to the external clients. In this example, this machine is a server and this is one of the clients. Client can mount this remote file system directly into his own machine. This way, the client can interact with the file system as if this was part of his local file system. In other words, this file system which is residing on a server will appear local to the client. So the benefits that come out of network file system are number one transparency. Clients do not need to particularly be aware that they are dealing with external remote file system. They work with it as if it's part of their own machine. So due to the transparency, client can use the same commands that he was using for local files to open and write to the external files. Open, close, fread, etc. Same commands will be used. So number one limitation is limited data could be stored because network file system is going against the local volume, a single volume on a single computer. So obviously the amount of data that could be stored is limited to the capacity the disk have on this machine. The second problem is that there is no protection against hardware failures. If this logical volume goes down, all the machines that were using this volume will lose the connection and all the applications will stop working. The third problem is that there could be a network overload. All those clients will be connecting to the same s computer that is hosting this logical drive which all these clients have mounted on their local machines. So there could be a burden on the network. Keep these limitations in mind while taking the coming sessions in which we will talk about Hadoop file system and you can see how Hadoop file system overcame all these limitations.